Hey guys, Tara Ars Movie here with another exciting tutorial, and today I'm gonna be answering your question again. So this is the the fr the most frequently asked questions on my YouTube channel or on my um, Facebook page, which is what is Adobe Dynamic Link. So today I'm gonna be explaining you, explaining to you, um, Adobe Dynamic Link. Well, as it says, a link. That means uh, it's linking all of your Adobe software. So, so let's say you have Premiere Pro for your editing software, and then you also use After Effects for your uh, effects software. So um, here's the story. Let's say, uh, for example, this video I'm working here, as you can see here, I want to add some effects like fire effects on, on this guy's head. <laughs> so if you're not using like Adobe software, let's say another editing software, all you gotta do is add some effects in After Effects and then um, render it out and then import that video into your editing software. And if some and if something goes wrong, you ha you have to have to go back to After Effects, render it out again, and well, import it again to your editing software. So basically, that takes time. But with um, Adobe software, for example, here I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro. All you gotta do, let's say, as you can see here, all of the video here is in blue color. But this one here is in red color. Why? Because I already add some effects using Adobe Dynamic Link. <laughs> so if you don't understand it yet, I'm just gonna be explaining to you right now. So I have some video here, and then just click and drag it to new composition. As you can see here, we got no effects at all. Let's say I want to add some effects, for example, like color correction effects. Um, <clears throat> with um, instead you go to After Effects and then add some effects right there and render, and render it out and import it to you, Premiere Pro. You can actually just right click and go to replace with After Effects Composition. And once you click that, you will wait. <laughs> you will wait. Oh, really there. there you go. And then you, uh, After Effects will ask you to save the project. So you will save it. I'm going to name it Tutorial, which is I already did here, but I'm just going to replace it. Yes. So basically, you just have to save it. Remember that save the project there, and then there you go. Your clip from from Premiere Pro is already here. All you gotta do is add some effects. For example, here I'm just gonna do it quick. Basically, any any effects you want to add here, but it's just for example a quick one. Maybe color correction here looks sucks anyway. <laughs> so you're gonna Control S, make sure you save it, and if you go back to Premiere Pro, as you can see here, it's updated. On Premiere Pro, you already have the effects, and that is the same thing that happened to this composition right here so as you can see if I play this this guy said is on fire <laughs> but as you can see here this as you see uh, on the top of the composition here you're gonna see the green line but maybe after you add some effects in, pre in After Effects using Adobe Dynamic Link, Dynamic Link it will have some uh, red line right here because it's actually not rendered uh, on After Effects so if you want your preview to well, sometimes when you have this red line here, your preview is kind of choppy. If you want the review to be smooth, you can go to Sequence and Render Effects in Work Area. So basically, it's going to render all of the effects inside uh, Premiere Pro. So your preview will be smooth. Alright guys, so that's it. So make sure, well, uh, if you don't want that to be happening, um, you can actually just edit everything first and then if you want to add some effects you're gonna edit later after you make sure you already edit uh, um, the video inside the Premiere Pro there's just some tips right there so that's it guys that's it actually about <laughs> dynamic link so another example let's say you're gonna add some effects for the audio all you're gonna do is right click and then edit clip in o Adobe Audition and it will send you to Adobe Audition. So, so let's say you want to um, add some noise removal effects. So you're gonna pick some sound that maybe just noise right there, no sound. So Shift P. So it basically it's it will capture the noise print and click OK and then Control All and then Control Shift P to remove the noise. You can play it and play with the setting here. If you if you want and then click apply and then it will remove the noise and then all you gotta do is click control s and save it and you can close this and as you can see here is the sound is updated and you will have no noise on your audio 
without render it out first so all you gotta do is right click and basically it's just replaced it replaced it on your composition how crazy was that huh? really easy really easy so that's it guys that's it adobe dynamic link i hope you understand because it's actually really easy all you gotta do is right click and blah 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 and by the way if i close this after effects right here i'm gonna close it now boom you will still have your effects right here la 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 <laughs> and if you want to um edit it again just replace it again with after effects composition that's it that's it all right that's that's it that's about it that's about adobe dynamic link i hope you understand i uh, found i hope you find it useful and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you find it useful for another um exciting tutorial like this all right guys so my name is star from star arts movie see you in the next cool videos and tutorial ciao